Welcome back to Tubes and Ange Golf Life, you absolute bunch of heroes. With sizzle Hope. on camera. Sizzle on camera. Come on, sizzle. <laughs> Come on, the sizzle legs. Angry ankles, <laughs> luscious legs, oh. long legs, love it. Um, Again, thank you so, so much for all your support and all your kind messages. We put a post out last night. Well, actually, How many comments did we get? So many comments. I think I counted this morning when I got about half five, about 300. 300, so thank you, thank you so, so much. And also, as well as the comments and stuff, can you send in your videos? Because um, uh, Phil... What, the howlers? The, yeah, the all howlers. The howlers they have. We want the howlers. Yeah, we'll stick them because in. Because Rob Green sent this of his uncle, Simon Green. You were playing the One Club Challenge and Simon had a driver. Simon went in the bunker. Check this out. Right, so last night, Big Ange put out a post I asking did. for suggestions on what we should do on this three-part special. And also, to send in your questions, unbelievable response. I have no idea what we're doing. Ange, what are we doing? Loads of questions. Thanks, Legends, for that. Uh, the format we're going to play, a few of you said it, but we're going to go with Battle Golf, and the first person to say it was Lee Banks. So thanks very much. Thanks, And all, there's about 15 other people that said that can't go through all the names, but Lee Banks was in there first. Cheers for the suggestion. So that's what we're going to play today. What is the it? format is yeah. basically whoever wins the hole yeah. gets to take a club out of the other person's bag. Right, okay, that's cool. That's so cool. I like that. What do you reckon the first club's going to come out of your bag is? Well, you'll take my driver. Or your 7 iron, because that's all you use. <laughs> <laughs> how many comments? I love it. Absolutely we, came we, Honestly, all guys, of you. we do read every single comment. Yeah. And how many comments about him with his bloody 7 iron? It cracks me up every time. And stop calling me Pat. Yeah. <laughs> So your seven iron's coming out, your driver's coming out, right. and, you're, and you're finished. Okay, what happens if you draw the hole? Just stays. We we'll just go through it, yeah. Yeah? As normal, yeah. Okay, so we'll if you lose in. a hole, you lose a club. If, that, if that's, that's not battle golf, then sorry, but yeah, that's, that's, that's our battle that's golf. That's our battle so golf. That's what we're going to do. Golf life is the Being only life we know. Right, we are again down at Fox Hills, which is absolutely sensational. This is the 10th hole, and it's got an absolute nick slope on it. Look it at has. that. Right. right to left. I've gone five iron. Not we, had, we had a bit of rain this morning, so we mm. might might be all right with it holding up. But in the summer, anything left, you are in the forest, the Nicky Forrester. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God! Oh, uh, yes! Come yeah. <laughs> on! All right. <laughs> What a way to start proceeding. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Follow suit, shall we? Oh! <laughs> and and so what, and that you know what I just said don't do? It's out the ballpark. Hang on, no, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Absolute not sure shank Bruno, you know I'm, what I mean, I'm Andy? I'm not sure that is out. <laughs> we'll see you down there. <laughs> Heavens have opened, but we're golf life and we love golf it. Golf life stops for nothing. Absolute, Absolutely absolute nothing. Team. It's fine though, because you come dressed to the occasion, so that's brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, B98, first question, let's B, go in. B98. <laughs> B, B98. <laughs> this is unbelievable weather. Come on, I want a path. Right. All right, you pair of legends, it's, it's year 2030. Your YouTube career has reached a dizzy height of 5 million subscribers. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, you're, a, you're, a, you're well renowned, in fact, so much that someone's been approaching you for a, a Golf Life the movie. <laughs> Isn't that the, the opening <laughs> sequence? Golf life is the, the only life well, I hang know. Hang on, don't, don't ruin the question. Oh, Charlie's gone. gone. Hang on. Uh, but the question is, which Hollywood stars would, would play you? And question two, which well-known band singer will sing the Golf Life opening song? Well, the bass, uh, that's a brilliant question. Isn't straight, that great? Straight away, it's got to be Tom Jones. Really? Yeah, singing the uh, intro. He's got the deep voice, That'd isn't he? That'd be amazing. Golf life, it's I'll the go, only life I know. I'll go, I'll go Fat Jack Black. 
fat Jack Black or, or, or James Corden. James- <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, J- J- James Black. Yeah, James Black. You've got James uh, or, Corden. Or Jack for you. Corden. I'll go for me, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Still hurts a bit. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, found, I found it, but I can't play it. You're not going to do a Bubba Dio drop? <sighs> Bubba Boop. Bubba Booba Dio. Bubba Dio. Bubba Dio. Bubba Dio. Bubba Dio. I'm going to have to get it out. Oh. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, this is eighth shot. No, I'm taking it on playable. You see? What's that then? I don't know what the yardage is. Oh, I've got it on my little watch. Oh, he's brought it? Yeah, I've got it. One, three, I finally brought his watch. It's only one, four rounds it took him. Well, 136. 136. Where? Don't, <laughs> don't get so hot it. Oh! <laughs> don't get so hot it. Right. Mm. Oh. Is that right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, it's been spat out. Just by the... Uh, left of the bunker. By the Lewis. 120 yards. 120. 120. And I've brought out the Killian and Gape. Gap wedge, is it? Yeah, it is. All right. Make sure you get underneath it. It's quite hard, this ground. No. Oh. Fantastic. Ooh. Oh. What were you saying about my old pal Lewis? Bunksville, Tennessee. Right, Ando, here we go. This is from Paige Jones, one, two, three. Hello, oh. Paige Jones, oh, one, two, three. Thank you for the question. What would be both of your death row meals? Three courses. Three courses. Wow. Uh, starter, two mayo chickens, uh, main meal, large Big Mac meal, full fat Coke with the, the two double cheeseburger chasers <laughs> and a dairy milk McFlurry for dessert. See you in a bit. <laughs> Something, something tells me he's thought about that. <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh, no, I'm not even going to answer that one now. This is now my f- fourth shot, isn't it? Hmm. That's a good. A little clipper. A little LA clip. <laughs> oh, hang on. It's a good shot, bruv. Thank you very much. Good shot. This is one of Pat's, Pat's parts of his game that you sell that. And that's not a wind up either. Didn't, didn't commit, did you? Didn't commit, but I'm out. But yeah, back weird. in the day, I wouldn't even get out of there. Yeah. Does it matter if, like, because the, sound, the sound's a bit wet, do you play it any differently? Honestly, yeah. I haven't got a clue. Can you let us know at home, please? I, I still you play, play the, the same way. Do you any differently if the sand is wet? The only time, st- sorry to interrupt, but the only time I play it differently is when the sand's compact. Right. And you, I, I sort of cut down on it harder to get it out because you can't get underneath it because it normally, the bounce normally hits the hard sand and goes into the ball and you knife it. Yeah. But when it's like that, that I mean, that's wet sand, but it's fluffy, isn't it? Yeah. So I just play it normally. Okay. Is he right? If anyone knows who they're talking about, <laughs> comment down below. Third shot? Third shot. No. Fourth, fourth shot. shot. Fourth Ooh. shot. Do you want to say big up to the Fox Hill Greenkeepers because this place is just fan- sensational. Magmotional, Mag- some would say. Uh, deck rice magmosh. Mm, magmosh. So gimme all day long. No gimme's in this game, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you need third. this, don't you? This is a five, yeah. You need this. Oh! I'd always overthink Pat. I always think there's more break than there is. No gimme's in this game, sweetheart. No. I don't think it really matters, does it? Oh! 
Ooh, everybody's yeah. bogalicious for you, babe. Right, we will reveal the club choice next. Oh, lovely. <laughs> You're not doing that, are you? Yeah. If you did it yesterday and you lost all your stuff in the river. Ah, oh, who cares? Funny, isn't it? You know, I always like to give you one of these. So here we go. That's a good line, that. That is a great line. Great line. Great line. That's a great line. Get after it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lovely old this, brother, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely old. Pickle, pickles. Oh, have a little, have a little look, sis. Look at that. 175 down and uphill par three. Love it. Probably one of my favourites on this course. Um, um, but more importantly, while we're here, it's yeah. a battle golf. I've lost the first hole, tenth. This is my little compartment, I don't know if you can see it, for the club that I can't use anymore, next to my brolly, which there. I probably should have out because it's raining. Oh, you've got, what are these you've got in there already? Oh, what? Right, okay. So, so we both, both our front compartments are well put on. I'm going to pick this club out because I know what, I know this is what you're going to pick, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pete's <laughs> taking my hybrid. For the regular viewers, you know how much I use this club. <laughs> But I'm not using it. That's all he uses. I'm not using that's it today. That's all he uses. Big and hybrid. That's all he uses. Tell you what though, it might help me out with uh, getting my freewheel back out again. But you know, a few of you mentioned why do I never use a freewheel? Why do I never use a driver? I don't because I can't hit it. As much as I absolutely adore this hole, I have never ever played it well. But I don't think I've ever got it dancing. So let's see this what. The old, this is the old Nemo. What have you gone? Yeah. Six or a seven? Yes. It's gone seven. <laughs> we all know I love a seven. You do. Come on. I can't believe you've gone for a seven. Why? I'm hoping you're pleb. <laughs> pleb? Finding Nemo, finding Nemo. It's a lamp sign. Oh no! Oh, oh, it was never a seven. His little seven irons let him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at the divot Origi. Oh dear, <laughs> deary me. <laughs> You're going to have no clubs left soon. The foxes are going to have no turf left if I carry on this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Right, let's have a little question. Absolutely. This is from Max Pincus. And his question is, Max. question for you both, would you rather win a Ryder Cup with Europe or a major on tour? In brackets, I know what Pulse would answer. Uh, obviously, you'd get absolutely wedged up for winning, you know, an individual event. Um, but, but I just think winning, uh, for at, me... At, at, sorry, at their level, the money's not even in, money doesn't even yeah, matter Yeah, but anymore. we're not at that level. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> you're, in, you're in the ditch, I'm in the bunker. We're nowhere near that level. Go on. So if it was me and you, you'd probably go, oh, financially, you'd win $10 million. Yeah, but but I, you, I, can't, I think, you can't, you can't beat, for me, winning in a team when all of you are going for the same goal. So I'd have to go for the Ryder Cup because I just think as a team effort, it would be absolutely amazing and you could celebrate and you know, forget the money, it would just be unbelievable. I'd love, for, I'd love to win that as a team. You? See, I prefer golf to football because I like the individuality of the game. Right. So, I, w I would think, now thinking about it, I think I probably would have said I'd rather win the Masters. But with golf, I think you're right. Yeah. I think the crack would be unbelievable having like, was it 12, 12 players and obviously all the vices and the captain. Definitely. All in one changing room. And imagine, imagine the party when you win. I reckon McElroy gets right stuck into it. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon he's pulling out the worm and all the robot and stuff like I that. I don't know, that, what's that, those pictures from 2010 at Celtic Manor was, yeah, they were they were tuned in with that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were, were tuned absolutely in. Absolutely, Billy Bolart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so both so, yeah, of us ride uh, a cup. Ride a cup. Right, 
not quite in the ditch, but sort of in the ditch. See what I can do. Vladimir Ditchko. Ooh, that was a, that was a good one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, gee. Oh, wow. Stay there. Stay oh. there. Keep rolling, roll. Good shots, brother. Good I'll shots. Take that. Come on. Commit. Commit. Come on, bruv. Nice little stern one out the bunks. Commit. Oh, he's left it in the Louis. Keep your head on. I can't believe I've done that. Oh! Give me a chance. Given me a chance. Please don't take my driver away. La 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 la. Do you want my ball marking? No, I'm good, thanks. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Oh, my head's gone now. Oh, he's wallied it. Oh. This is for par, you're putting for five. So it looks like A Dale. Get in there, get in there, you little bit. Oh, bit oh baby! <laughs> what a par that is from where I was. Maurizio oh, Pari. I do that, I? I did my older. Right. Oh. My choice, let me have a little think about that. <laughs> Back this way. Don't take my seven. I don't want him to take my driver. I want him because it's a new the driver. Good. Huh? Oh, there. nothing. All right. right. So Here we are. <laughs> seven iron it is then. Yeah. Oh, you using a seven iron? Huh? You using your seven iron? No, I'm putting it in my little bin. Well, you might as well use it because I'm taking your driver. So. <laughs> <laughs> You must have known that was coming and watch your game absolutely fold like a deck of cards. Go on, you use that. I don't you know what it's like to use it. You use it every other shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've got to get the, the driver's free. gone. Oh, I'm going to get the free wheel out. Come on, I think I think I think this would actually serve you well. Oh, you're doing me a favour, look. I'm doing it. I'm, really, I'm just trying to trying to get your golf game. You know, doing me a favour. A bit of variety. I'm not sure if I like this battle golf. We both hit each other hard, didn't we? Yeah. I've tucked you up, getting your driver out. He's tucked mine up with the hybrid. So, three wood. It might be, it might be a, a golf three, life first, this. Three wood off. I don't think, I don't think I've ever hit a three wood on the golf life, General. And I might, might see why. No, you oh, that, now that is why. <laughs> that is awful. That's in by That is absolutely awful. I might chase it down the M25 home. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as mine. Come around, come around, come around. It didn't come around. Oh, yes, it did come. <laughs> it came round all right. Oh, I love you, free wood. He does. He loves his free, free wood. wood. He does. If you play well with that yeah. this round, yeah, mind you, saying that, if I win this, I might take it next next one. But we use it more often. Three wood. Yeah, I will. If I, but I've got to go down and try and arrange and learn how to hit it. But I've, I think it's, I think the three wood's got potential. Right, range stop, bro. Yeah. This is a result. Um, this one's from Johnny Sullivan. Johnny. Bit of a serious one. Johnny. Bit serious. of a serious one. We've got yeah. a little serious one, yeah. yeah. He's saying it's great to see uh, two brothers who are tight mates enjoying each one, each one another's company and golfing exploits. But wondering, was there ever moments when things were particularly testing between you two, particularly during Pat's <laughs> Pat, sort of serious Pat's battle with alcoholism? <laughs> <laughs> Just Pat. Pat. Um, with my battle with alcohol. Um, well, it was, oh, it was always testing for me because being an alcoholic is hard work because you just constantly lie to people and then you're trying to cover up your drinking 
and it's just hard work, especially when you're you, you're addicted. Like you, you're craving a drink, so you snip into the shop, getting a vodka, trying to balance the levels of not being drunk. You know, going to work and craving a drink. It's hard work for me, but more importantly, it's probably harder work for you. Yeah, mum. I mean, from I looking back at it now, I uh, like it was it was it was it was so frustrating. I know I've said it before on the channel, but like I just couldn't understand why you were like it. And I was like, he's got a lot to give. You know, like, he's quite funny. You know, he's you know he's a good guy. Why is he doing that? And I was just I can't I can't get my head around to why why you're doing it and. And then it got to a point, and I spoke to mum, and I was just like, I, I, I can't do it anymore. I've tried to help. I can't. I don't. I don't know where to go. So then I just. Well, I, I didn't give up, but I, I lost hope that you would ever get. Did you? A little bit. Did you yeah. think I was always just? That well, was I just. It. I, there was. I mean, you must have thought that as well. I mean, I didn't see you seeing any light at the end of the tunnel. To be mm. honest, I was just like, that's the way. That's it, interesting to hear from you though, because you've never said that. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Um, but like you said before. It, the only person that can get you out of that hole is is you, and that's and that's what it is. But I just think, yeah, it's just a bit, it was just a bit of a waste to see someone like you who's got a lot about you to to go that that yeah, way. I'm, but I'm even even that. more prouder that you've come back out the other side and we're we're pricking around on a golf course and having a great yeah. time, which we never would have done, would we? No way. I mean, I never used to turn up, did I? Or if I did turn up, I was half cut, battered. But. Yeah. I've said it before as well, but the only person who can help an alcoholic is an alcoholic. You've got to, you're the one who's got to say, right, enough's enough. You've got to stop and you've got to truly believe that. Because there's loads of times I said, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. But deep down, I didn't believe. So I had three weeks off. Everyone was like, you're doing so well. But in the back of my head, I was thinking, when's the next drink? When's the next drink? When's the next drink? So once I managed to conquer it, touch wood, every day's a new day and all that. but. It's the best feeling ever. You can live life without it and enjoy yourself. Also, I didn't really answer the question, did I? I well, your troubles, yeah. You were worried and you, you I, didn't I, know. I, I wasn't worried. I was selfishly, I was a bit like, well, it's, you know, I, I can't help him anymore. That's, that's all I can do. But it's just... Well, you constantly I, I, I got, I got, past, I, I, you? I got, I got angry because you used to do things when you were drunk, which you never did when you were sober. And I've always had a... Like, when I go out with mates, all my mates are quite similar when they're... They've had a few scoops to, mm. they don't really change their personality that much, but you were like a Jack and I, you would, wouldn't say boo to a goose, you wouldn't offend anyone, you wouldn't, yeah, you'd, you're quite quiet, you're quite shy in nature, aren't you, yeah. as, as a person. But as soon as you had three pints, literally it was like third or fourth pint of Cronenberg, you started to just become a, a real <laughs> And I was just like, why is he changing his personality from someone who's not that person to that? And people would just sort of look at you and go like, well, he's a bit of a dick, isn't he? And, you're not a dick, and that's another thing that used to frustrate me because he, he isn't. And then people used to see the wrong side of him, and that. And then people used to say, you know, uh, dig you out in pubs at Chelsea. And then I, my nature is, I was, I'd come wading in and defend you. And then, you know, it, it was a lot of unnecessary situations that could have been avoided if you weren't on the old scooper Roonies. Live and learn. But uh, next question, we'll have a lively one, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. This is where my shocking <coughs> three woods turned up. <laughs> do, do me a favour and take it off my next hole, will you? <laughs> um, so I'm just going to try and play out. Oh, that's this. It's in play. It's in play. Stop, stop. Don't go in the long stuff. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. 169. 169. Need a good one. Could be good. Could be good if it runs. Could be good if it runs. Mm. Didn't run. Gone pitching wedge. 120 yards out. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, I like it. Ah. Uh... No, it's gone to the... No, I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll soft the rocks. He's in the driving seat, the swine. Well short. Well short. So I've got a little wedge. Just going to punch one in there. Hope for the best. Eh. Oh, 
Oh my God. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Even you like that one, lads. <laughs> I've had a little O oh from the Lab Meister General. Is that a six? Uh, in for five. In for five? Yeah. Decent. Yeah, it's a gimme, gimme, yeah. gimme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a paddle, was it? What a tit. Right, this. This for the win. For an Allen par and a win, and to take another club away. Jack Butland, pendulum, right to left. What is the pendulum? He's like that, the pendulum. But how else would you do, how else would you do a putter swing? Well, I was, he, was, he said I had my arms bent before. Oh, so you're arms straight with the... Yeah, pendulum. Right, okay. Seems to be working, doesn't it? Let's hope so. Oh. All square, no clubs being taken because we drew the hole. On to the next. Thanks for watching part one. Here's a little sneak preview of part two. Woo! 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, Might need to speed 35, this up. 36, 36, 36, 36. Three, two, one. Winston, Winston Bogart. Bogart. <laughs> Winston Bogart. Winston Bogart. I knew you were going to call that.